as you all seen from my uh damn it from my uh my skyrim like playthrough that i did that i didn't finish i had no idea how to how to, how to like do all these things oh i did it yay i did it woohoo <laughs> but yeah in skyrim i like took an hour trying to lockpick and i just gave up because i couldn't do it and then i found that was the easiest thing in the world to do so stupid such a noob Let's go over here. Oh! 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 Dude! They didn't hear that? They're like right there. Alright, whatever, dude. It's all part of the game. All part of the game. Put a bloom on your cheek. Alright. Um, up there, I'm guessing. down yeah because no one no one saw me at all totally like they're just too focused in this grand play that no one uh that everyone's in love with oh there's people down there they don't hear this either are they deaf uh hell probably wasn't any uh q-tips to clean your ears back then <laughs> all right i'm guessing we're here already because this is like the far uh far right corner already Yes, we are. His eyes are really shiny. Holy crap. This main character we're playing right now, is he looks kind of Indian. So I'm guessing that's where the uh, the whole uh, like fighting thing with the Indians go. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Oh, there's a kid back there. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. X. Oh! Oh, you got stabbed and robbed at the same time. Now you're dead. Yep. He, he's just sleeping. It's okay. Oh, look at his eyes. He's like, I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> Stupid kid. What the hell is he doing up there? He doesn't look like he's like a, a servant type boy, though. He's dressed in crappy. Well, they are all uh, dressed in crappy clothes. Look at her checking him out. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Always got to be the sexy guy. All right, so now we got to exit the opera house, and there's more people making out over here. All right, I guess that's all you could do back then, since there wasn't really electricity. And judging by the screaming, I'm guessing they found the dead body. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he got. He got speared. It's okay though. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, here, walking. I gotta go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna go, you know, just walk really quick here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Gotta take a poop. Gotta take a poop. Oh, this way. Oh, excuse me, sir. I have to take a poop. Thank you. Wow. Everyone got up on their seats. They're like, oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> they were all focused on the play, like. They, they couldn't hear my uh, my backstage like adventure that I was having, but no, they they, they totally hear the whole uh, that one guy getting killed, and I didn't even make noise killing him. It's okay though. Look, they're like stopping everyone. Look at them, dude! Don't push me. I just killed the guy. Do you want to die next? That guy looks really suspicious. He should be taken out. Look at him. He's like looking back, turning around every five seconds. Oh, I'm getting sick. Stupid Hurricane Sandy. What the hell is like? Look at all these people. Oh look, and the the thing is sinking up as well. Like the thing is building up back there. Oh yeah. Oh, sleek and smooth. Let's take it easy. And how was? Rather dull, truth be told. <laughs> Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bride. Aye. To and bride. The hell is that? It's a dragon type key thing. It has a nice dragon in a circle. It has that alien language thing. 
<clears throat> Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that it be held within? It could contain certain <clears throat> knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. Oh, so that's a key basically to open something that could hold a weapon or it could hold like a, a book or something. So it's probably uh, something from the past from Ezio or from Altair or something. <clears throat> or our enemies, should they find it first? They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is. Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America. Locate so we're not in America? I thought we were in America. I guess we were like in Europe or something. Command. Although a job of this magnitude <coughs> would require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. Charles Lee, Except William Johnson, side. Tom. So, all right, don't let me read. It's fine. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I saw a Benjamin on there, though. Is that Benjamin Franklin? We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us. So my name is Haytham Hathaway, Mathway. Cathway, Southway, I don't know. Oh yeah, hundred and fifteen percent. Full synchronization. Give you my progress. Yeah, I don't want to watch. Oh, I got the full, the first thing wrong because I didn't uh, assassinate the person. I didn't do an air assassination. Penguin walk. Penguin. Penguin walk. Huh, huh, huh. <laughs> I always do the penguin walk. I love that thing. Oh, that's cool. I just got goosebumps. Alright, so we're on our way to America on a ship where there's tons of men singing, no women, I guess. And I want to get some fresh air. So let's go ahead and get some fresh air, because I need the fresh air. When you're on a ship, you must stink horribly down there. It's all made out of wood. It's all smelly. There's paint going on. Yuck. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, go into random room rooms and see what we find. Oh, I can interact with people. A moment to talk. Ah, a fellow Londoner. Okay, so we were in London. We were in London. the only man of means aboard. Rupert Martin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. My name is Haytham Kenway. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? No. <laughs> what happened? They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be added for a good while. Someone died? Oh, I don't know. The They've ruled out robbery. So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. He got killed Abraham Lincoln style, dude. But with a with a blade. Lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be But except he knew he doesn't like shot without day. knowing, so it's cool though, it's cool. He died with some honor. Oh, this is cool. You could talk to random people and find stuff out. Good morning, Doctor. What the hell's wrong with his beard? A question, if I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why that is. Well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. As <laughs> do I. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Alright, cool. 
All right, so let's go ahead into our interaction point. There are games on here that I could play, which is at that table over there, but I don't really want to. I'm always bad at them. Like, for some reason, I am always, always bad at them, and I really don't like to play them. <laughs> Probably, like, weird games, too. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. It's weird. What the hell is that? Let's just go on board, because I want to play as the uh, as Connor, which is going to be the uh, the Native American assassin. I don't know who this guy is, though, or what he plays part in, but we'll see. We'll see. He looks like him. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Well, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with a Duh. Like, pfft. Come here, man. I'm sexy. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. Damn, what the hell? That guy's talking really low and everyone heard him? <laughs> Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. His name is Graves? Oh, he wants to fight? He really wants to fight. Oh my, here! Mm. The hell out of here, bro. You don't know who I am. Dude, the captain's driving the ship. Do you want to, like, be swimming or something? Alright, fine. Let's do this. You want to you wanna dance, cowboy? Let's dance. Come here. Come here. Right in the nuts. And you just stay on the floor. Who's next? We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. <laughs> it's not like Liam Neeson from Taken. When he wasn't Taken, he was, uh, I don't know who you are. But I will find you and I will. Oh, with the wrestling moves. I will find you and I will kill you. Never! Alright. I guess you're gonna die now. How do you like these odds? I like this. This is how they, uh, oh. Show the uh, all the moves you can do. What's the meaning of this, Captain? Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs <laughs> instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. Assassine! <laughs> I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble. Are you serious, before. dude? That was your the first thing. Have nothing to do with me. Right? I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has Do you no want to fight? For you. Wait, was that me talking or him talking? Look, I don't, I don't know. want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. <laughs> right, he just finished yelling at you, and I now he wants a favor. Men tend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise! As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate. Hell yeah. To cut off your head Hell yeah. Myself. Look at his face. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> With that threat, you shouldn't have to give him a favor. Just do. Just okay. stay in your boat, man. If he threatens to take you off the boat, just threaten him again. Fight everyone. Kill everyone. Uh, return to your cabin to end the day. Alright, so we're going to go sleep now. <clears throat> so let's go on forward and uh, do that. Actually, there's another personality upstairs that we could speak to. So I'll go ahead and do that so that I could find everything out. Hello, sir. 
Do you expect we'll have a pleasant crossing? It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms and troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates. How does he see with that big freaking steering wheel in front of him? <laughs> he has to like stand at the side. Providence is a strong ship, and her crew well trained. They will surely keep us safe. The ass sheets? Did he just say the ass sheets? What the hell? <laughs> God, my throat is like really dry right now, and the water isn't working. I'm I'm probably gonna stop recording for like when I get to America, probably. So I could go like eat or something to to pass the uh, the phlegm that I have because I feel a little bit of phlegm, not much. I know it's nasty, but my name is Brian Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, so my hard drive doesn't get too, you know, full, which it usually doesn't because it has a lot of space, but just in case, so I don't want the recording to go bad and I have a big sad. I've been recording for 37 minutes. Oh, okay, cool. I wonder what happens in the end. I can't wait. I really can't wait. Atlantic Ocean Day 28. 28 days. And we're not even there yet. Holy crap. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. 28 days later. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go see what the scurvy crew is up to. Me scurvies! Oh, there's another personality we could speak to. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine. Whilst we're stuck with tin <laughs> fish and biscuits. You, can I speak to you real quick? The guy he fought. You looking for another fight? That it? Go away. Oh, that's it. I thought I was gonna like speak to him some more. All right. Now the reason I'm interacting with everyone is just so I could get like f the full in-depth like story. Like I really want to dive into this game. Cause I've been waiting so long for it. I want to get my whole money's worth out of it. So, uh, you will see everything that this game has to offer. Hopefully, like side missions and everything. Quite the base thing you gave Greg. Dude, this happened 28 days ago. Now, is that you want to talk about it? The hell? I Blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Nathan Kenway. Nah, man, I'll shake your hand. It's so dirty, man. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. That they're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put hmm. the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. I like always singing, dude. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was checking something on my phone. Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What type of boat am I on? Look at this. Guys dancing together? What the hell? <laughs> Alright. Now we could get on to the, uh, our objective. But that is really gay. Even if you're drunk, dude, you don't dance with a guy. <laughs> but let's go ahead and, uh, Speak to this guy over here, whoever he is. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. The cook or the doctor. We met the doctor earlier. 